Um, did you? Do you think you, 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 as a unit defensively, you got better playing against San Diego State and Montana maybe than you would have if you were playing, you know, Hancock College or something like that? I mean, definitely, definitely. Uh, it's just one of those things where we're we're good as a unit. We just got to be more consistent and uh, just going back and looking at game film. We just got to continually grow on what we could do better. Talk about the importance of, of, of getting home and, 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 and having a good effort against San, uh, South Dakota State. How important is this week? Oh, it's a huge game. We got to get that winning taste in our mouth. So hopefully we could get something rolling, get some momentum into the season because it's not fun starting off on two. Just because you guys lost these first two games on the road against really good opponents certainly doesn't mean you're not good, a good team. So how do you maintain the confidence and, and, and keep the doubt out of your minds? I mean, is that an issue at all right now? Uh, not really. I mean, we just we just go out there every day and focus on what we can control. You know, try and get better at the little things, and then, uh, like I've been saying, just pull it all together for an entire game instead of just three quarters. Yeah. yeah Kyle, is the defense shoulder any of the blame in, in the last loss up in Montana, or is any of you guys taking it? Like, oh, the whole team. Definitely, definitely. I mean, it's uh, it's the blame goes for everyone. You know, you could always do better. Um, that's why we were just out down in the film room, looking at what we could work on and uh, just trying to get better this week. And again, specifically, you said things that you can work on. What are those those things? Um, just being more consistent. Like uh, we had we had uh, great games. We we were playing great for almost the entire game, but just certain plays to score on a. A long pass. We didn't get a good enough pass rush on that play, and then uh, I don't know about the secondary, but you know, just things we do. Big plays are kind of killing us. You know, you look at uh, the score. I mean, you guys, the team's given up over 80 points. A couple of those touchdowns around special teams, but defensively, I mean, you, you got to take pride in, in keeping points yeah, off the board. So, definitely. I mean, as as a group, how would you say this, the defense is feeling right now? Uh, d defense is fine. I mean, the confidence is still up. It's just, like I said, just the little plays. Like we we have. We have big plays. We're playing very well most of the time, but just little things every now and then. Like one thing goes wrong and the, the whole thing breaks. You know, it's still obviously very early in the season, but I mean, the objectives of this team long term, I mean, you know, you got to start worrying about stuff like that. I mean, it starts this week, so how important do you feel like this week is in the grand scheme of things? I, I feel like it's a huge week. It's a very, very big week. I mean, we got to get that win. That's all, that, all we can do. Get out there, get a win, and then hopefully uh, everybody likes the taste of the win and just keeps coming. It's a momentum. And South Dakota State's been a team that's played Cal Poly traditionally very tough through the mm -hmm. years. Talk about what a tough team they are and, and the challenge this week of facing them. Um, I wasn't here when they played them, I believe, two years ago. I transferred from JC, but um, we haven't got to watch film on. But from what I heard, they've, they've been playing very well. They beat uh, Southern Utah, and uh, I think they lost last week, but they uh, had a, played a good opponent. opponent. You know, having. Uh, Having seen the film or tape or whatever um, from the last game, I mean, everyone made a big point, and justifiably so, about the third downs, third and longs yeah. that they were able to convert. What were they doing, and what, what can you do to correct that in the future? Um, like you said, yeah, we definitely got to get off the field on third down. That's crucial. Um, I don't know exactly how many they converted, but I know it was a lot in the second half. Uh, we just got to get, from a defensive line standpoint, we got to get a pa better pass rush, get in the quarterback's face, don't let them feel comfortable in the pocket, and then. Uh, as a secondary, just uh, I don't know, just trying to pat the ball down. And, and overall, if you could talk, I guess, uh, on behalf of the team, I mean, just you know, zero and two, you know, kind of down right now. But what's the feeling uh, amongst the guys? Um, we're, we're, right now, we're trying to have this be a turning point. We talked about it after last game. I mean, starting zero and two hurts, but right now, if it's a turning point, we could we could have a great season still. You know, nine and two is not not a bad record. It's playoffs, so that's what we're looking to do. And, uh, you know, home crowd this week, home opener, should be a good crowd. The students are coming back in. Uh, I know you guys want to put on a great show. Uh, but more importantly, get a win this week. How important is it to, to get the, you know, the win in front of the home fans? Oh, uh, very important. We love playing at home, you know. Nothing better than people cheering for you. Uh, we haven't had that the last two weeks. But uh, can't wait to be at home and defend our territory.